wearing face masks. A reminder that the original epicenter of the novel coronavirus outbreak is not in the clear. Two weeks after Wuhan lifted its lockdown, a drive through commercial streets shows many storefronts still shuttered. The shops staying open, finding a new way to serve customers. You can only go up until the box up front. They've got a little table set up. You order with somebody who either comes to the door or you can do it through an app. The idea is you are not to go in to the store. All of this still open business, but also keep a social distance. But for some small business owners, there is no reopening in sight. For private businesses like us, there's almost no subsidies. We talked with Mr. Wong. CNN agreed not to use his full name, as he wanted to avoid any trouble with local officials. After three months of sitting closed, the 35-year-old restaurant owner is struggling with rent. If a government relief check arrives, he says the assistance will likely come too late, especially if there's another spike in infections here. Considering the possibility of a second wave, very likely we will leave this business and find another job. Mr. Wong opened up about the mental health struggles of living under lockdown, sealed inside his home. I was actually very scared at that time. When I saw the news that the pandemic was gradually under control, I felt less nervous. When I got bored at home, I just watched TV. I played on my phone and slept. And yet Mr. Wong, like many across the world, also had to deal with news that three of his loved ones contracted the virus, one of his extended family members passing away. Of course, we were very sad. We couldn't see him for the last time when he died or even give him a farewell ceremony. It was a big regret in our heart. We will go to his grave after the pandemic to hold a simple ceremony for him. Likely thousands of similarly delayed remembrances to take place here in Wuhan over the weeks ahead, as others cautiously move forward with living. These, the faces of those who endured a harsh lockdown, now navigating their way into an uncertain future. And here we are more than three months after the lockdown initially took effect. And you can tell there that folks are still very hesitant to walk back into life as it was prior to the lockdown. And businesses, the ones that will reopen, will do so, as you see, with very different modes of how they operate. And the ones that remain closed, including fitness centers and cinemas, will be doing so until they get formal approval to reopen. And even once they reopen, many of them are still concerned that the customers will be very reluctant to come back, concerned that they will face that added exposure ahead of what could potentially be a second wave of this outbreak.